How does it feel now to be back competing at the top of college football? Well, it's where Miami needs to be. And, uh, you know, um, we're not claiming we're back and all that kind of stuff, but we're claiming that we're, we're working our tails off, you know, wanting to be one of those teams that people respect on a national level and care about what happens on every Saturday when we play. And, and we got to the point of that last year. We, we got a taste of it, or at least we smelled it. I don't know if we quite tasted it, but we at least smelled it. And we just got to take a big, bigger bite out of it this year. What are some of the lessons that you feel like those guys learned at the end of last season? I mean, the reality is we could not sustain what we were doing early in the year. By the end of the year, we didn't have as much juice, whether it's through injuries or whatever. And, uh, you know, this year, I do think we have a greater amount of depth overall that we might can withstand some injuries here and there. And, uh, and we're, we're back to truly competing for positions and competing against each other in practice, which is only going to make us better. So, you know, it, the, the, the greater preparation we have on the front end and the, and the more guys we can play throughout the year and keep people fresh and keep them able to finish stronger. I mean, that's a coaching thing, too. You know, we got we to gotta get to the point where we can coach well enough to trust our second and third team guys to get in there and play and keep everybody fresh, keep everybody happy. What's the mood of this Miami football team been this offseason? I think just excited about getting back to work. You know, these guys understand that there's no shortcuts to victory, and uh, but they're excited. They, they, they love uh, playing football. They love competing, and, uh, and they love being at the U, so it's, it's a lot of fun right now. Those three losses at the end of the season, uh, the way we finished. Uh, we weren't supposed to go, it wasn't supposed to happen like that. Uh, we let games slip away from us. Uh, we let people get ahead of us. We didn't make plays. Uh, we just motivated by that. We motivated by uh, just finishing. Our finish was uh, weak. You guys open up with LSU. What type of oh, statement yeah. are you guys who, who made? Who made that decision? Yeah. <laughs> like, who, who, who decided to do that? Uh, no, I was in the middle of that decision to do it. I, I think that, um, First of all, I know LSU well, you know, being in the SEC for 15 years and playing them a few times. I mean, they're going to suit up as good as anybody in the world, okay? These guys are going to look beautiful. They're, they're athletic, they're strong, they're fast, they're, they're really good at what they do. So um, it's going to be a great challenge for us. I know they got some uh, issues they got to work on. We got issues we got to work on, but it's going to be a battle royal and uh, it's going to be fun for the college football world. I think we're playing on a Sunday night, and I think we're the only game being played that night, so the whole world's going to watch that one. We're just looking forward to the competition. I mean, I know they're excited, we're excited. Uh, we're working hard. Uh, on that Sunday night, it's going to boil down to who wanted more. What does this team have to do this season to get over the hump and get to the college football playoffs, win the ACC? We can't have that slow start. We have to start fast and finish strong. I mean, a lot of games we were threatening and we were able to pull out uh, the close the close games, but sometimes we don't want to be like that. Sometimes we want to be dominant, like Alabama. How they dominate people, that's how we want to be. We want to dominate people, we want to play up to their level. So when we get there, we'll be able to beat them.